The country's multi-party system is currently dominated by the New Patriotic Party and the National Democratic Congress, who frequently secure significant majority seats in national elections and the presidency. Despite his commitment to breaking away from traditional politics, Dr. Samankra faces a challenging campaign as an independent presidential aspirant in the 2024 general elections. It's a burning desire for change. I just could not sit on the fence mm. where we're transferring from one mediocre government to the other. With all this coupled with what I feel I have to offer, it inspired me with a passion to put myself on the altar of sacrifice and basically present myself to Ghanaians, present alternative policies mm -hmm. that can transform this country totally different from what has been done now. The party's strong influence, the winner-takes-all electoral system and limited resources pose significant challenges to his electoral success. He's only an insane person that keeps doing the same old stuff over and over again and expecting different results. This style of government, this style of elected leaders would not solve our problem. We need to have a collective decision, come together as people, away from political symbols or colors, mm. choose right caliber of Ghanaians who have the know-how, the expertise, the skills, and the hearts to do the work, and let them employ them to take the country forward. Or else, we go around in circles and we'll not see anything. The economist and investment banker, who is new to the voting population, believes the electorate will support his policies and ideology. Ghanaians are going to see the kind of skills, the kind of materials we're presenting to them. And as far as the grassroots are concerned, I started make, uh, making rounds for the last eight years. So we'll go over the line and I, I can assure you we're going to march the main parties boot for boot, arm for arm, leg for an egg, to make sure that at least there's an alternative on the table. The leader of the Alternative Force for Action Movement and Development Economist is optimistic about his chances in December 2024.